Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Dos Cabasos and we're watching the seventh episode of season five of Rick and Morty. So last episode we got to see the president again. Mm -hmm. Second uh, appearance of the season. Second appearance, yeah. I always like when the president's in the um, the episodes. It seemed like Rick kind of was back to taking the forefront, um, mm -hmm. which was really awesome to see unlike a few of the other episodes we've seen this season. I hope that continues because I do really like when Rick shows his smarts and, you know, like does something crazy and intelligent. I don't know, that's just a fun thing to see about Rick. Yeah, this season has been really hit or miss. Like, I feel like there's been some really good bangers, especially early toward the beginning part of the season. Then we went into a weird little lull, and it seems like we're kind of building back up. So hopefully this can continue and build back up on that. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions. We also have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and stuff like that. We actually made Rick and Morty-themed cocktails over there a while back, so if you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. Boob World! Boob World? Boob <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Morty, it's weird that you wanted me to come, but I'm actually ecstatic about it. <laughs> boob World's been at the center of a few protests every day for 30 years, so they've recently rebranded as a boob empowerment experience, and if we bring a female, we get in for free. So I'm like, what, a Coke can? You're taking a Six Flag? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Six Flags. Gotron Ferret, Morty. It's the blue Gotron Ferret. What happened to Boob World? Boob World is canceled. <laughs> no, Rick! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's how it all began. To my sister, it was just another game. What? But what she didn't know... That was the moment everything changed. Wait, what? What? <laughs> first taste of respect and my first voiceover. <laughs> I, I can hear and I knew then and there, I wanted more of both. <laughs> Thank I'm they sad about over. Boob World. That's so funny, though. I remember, like, getting Coke cans to, like, go to Six mm -hmm. Flags. <laughs> yeah, I did that, too. How many did you have to have? Just one? It's just one, but it would be like, I think the tickets were like 45 It'd be like $15 off. So it wasn't the biggest discount, but you know, oh. something was something. I would go in and not ride the rides. <laughs> to do an activity with them? When did that stop being a parent's wettest dream? I guess around the time our family created a giant incest baby and the government launched Ooh. it into space. <laughs> go team, go team. There are all the colors of the Power Rangers. <laughs> Oh, should be something else that I just got the reference wrong. Mm -hmm. But in Power Rangers, they all got into different like droids or not droids, but like, and they combined and made like a super, like Zord. I think it was. It's been forever. Oh okay. yeah, parking garage. Activating link dock. <laughs> they morph. It wasn't so morph. It was like the the Zords would come together and they would combine and make like a Mega Zord. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely Power Rangers. <laughs> How do we just hit buttons? We're too big to fail. <laughs> Hitting buttons is how I play like the uh, fighting Super games. Smash. <laughs> I just keep and I hitting. I play as Kirby <laughs> every time. I mean Yoshi. It's like if you keep hitting enough buttons, mm -hmm. you'll hit a combo eventually. <laughs> I feel so alive. These were the good Aww, times. Aw, family. When we felt like we could do anything. There are infinite universes where I still don't have all five ferrets. Th th those versions <laughs> of me would do anything to complete their multiverse. Hey, okay, but Rick. Remember what you told me to remind you? Sometimes enough is... Sometimes enough is enough. Morty, what are you doing? He gets obsessed, Summer. Now he says we can go higher, and big surprise, it's time to drag him down again. Well, hmm. Mm. This is feeling very... Summer's getting a power grab. Obviously, I'm in. I never said I wasn't in. Me neither. Tell us <laughs> what we're doing next. Uh, I want to put together a cookout. That's it? Oh, I love cookout. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! I'm is sorry, this, this, this does not feel like Rick, line. yeah. Universes, each with incomplete Gotrons. Just kept getting I didn't have anyone to talk to since the other four mornings mm -hmm. have been to Boob World. <laughs> Boob World? In the interest of us all working together. Wanna know what I think? I think you guys got a lot of nerve acting better than us. This is the family that made a giant incest baby. Oh, gosh. Are we ever gonna live that down? No. Make sure that's yeah, right. I know. <laughs> Give me the key. <gasps> Sabotage. Was that Summer that did that? Oh my gosh, Obviously, may have we been. predicted that might happen, which is why we have Yo Yo Rick on standby. Anybody got beat yeah. with Yo Yo? And so we helped our people find their ferrets. How they got them? Not our oh own. my gosh! <laughs> they just killed them all. I could move you up if I could trust you to put family first. H how is that putting family first? Show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. Big fat Rick, his flask stays full or your locker gets empty. Thanks. Mean if I really loved my family, I'd give control of it back to your jealous ass. Green Ferret 4 needs a wash and we're out of detergent. I just bought a box. And Grandpa snorted it because you made oh, him feel fenced in. Sum sum. <laughs> we evacuated one of the planets we saved and built a secret nightclub on it. A place uh -oh. no enemies could find us. Unless you count my brother. <laughs> she said enemy. This 
is our queef, our, our queen. She <laughs> saved my life. She, she set me free. Twenty percent of you get a Gotron because we're. Oh, oh goodness, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy. Family, get in. Oh, hello. They stole it from. Huh? Who are you people? Let's just say we're the rightful owners of these ferrets. Then why were they scattered mm. and buried across the universe? We mean in a more general cultural sense. What your grandpa did is what? called appropriation. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> Help us take over this operation. Then you can get back to what's important. <clears throat> are those that... boot bucks? <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh my gosh, he was gonna kill him. Did he kill the driver, right or no? No. Oh, oh shit, maybe yeah. he did. Yeah. And sure enough. Oh, Just when dang. I stuck my neck out for the family, it got stomped on anyway. <gasps> what the fuck oh he's Oh my wrong? gosh. <laughs> Did he kill the parrot? Oh wait, no. <gasps> it was this guy. Okay. Hi, oh. Rick. Wait, what about everybody in the building? What the hell happened? Oh, Hi, there Rick. Get oh. so close to us. Morty was supposed to be security. Morty? Why are we doing this anymore? Because it's fun, you little rat. No. This is $16,000 <laughs> we got from the deep state for stepping on that trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> couple of snags, but I know how to speed things up. <laughs> Remember when we talked about how the best thing we could do for the family is to recruit outside the family? Yes, way ahead of you. Summer, I want you to meet Kendra. She's from a temp agency. <gasps> oh, She's got shit. an entire workforce ready to go, and all of them have previous giant robot pilot experience. Well, I don't know about that, but... Well, Kendra knows, so... So... Would our Rick really fall for this? <laughs> Rick fired me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> See, they forgot already. But to us, we lost our minds. I did it. Morty was right. I got addicted to making Grandpa happy. It's only because your grandpa inflates the value of his happiness. As you guys recall, and as a lot of people keep bringing up, Morty and I did accidentally create a giant incest baby, which the government did launch into space. And I'm not sure how to tell you this, but it is still alive, and I have been in contact with it. What the fuck? They had captured him and wanted to see if he'd respond to me instinctively being his mother and he sure did oh my gosh can we leave the incest baby alone i was supposed to help discipline him so they could turn him into the ultimate weapon instead i trained him to love to believe in himself and finally to escape the government doesn't want anyone to know what happened so where is it now replace me with an anime girl so all i got is myself <laughs> and my giant tortured government trained rogue incest monster baby out there in space oh my gosh I mean, it's Morty's incest baby too. Mm -hmm. And he's just there with his high C. Hey, <laughs> lock onto its location. Yeah, got it. Ooh, it's Him. you. Huh? Mm. What the hell is this? Come on, Rig. Oh, <laughs> Look at how his like little area looks. Yeah. Like, all nice. Say hello to my little me. <laughs> Scarface. <laughs> Last I checked, your family wasn't coming to save you. But are they? No. Holy mother. No. It's beautiful. No. Fuck no. <laughs> and how can it breathe in space? Need to watch more anime, mom. Whoa, easy now, Naruto. <laughs> we haven't seen Naruto <laughs> yet. The See, they're dying. Yeah, so how can the baby breathe in space? After that, things pretty much went back to normal. Some version so of it So they just anyway. gonna like, leave it there? Like... Except all those gigantic space bugs were still running loose and there were no Gotrons left to fight them. Yeah, millions die every day. You wanna know what they could never kill? Family. Help! I'm still out here! Oh no, Jay! Nothing's more important than- Hey! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> ah! Oh wait, what? And just like that, I knew our goose was as cooked as- Voice ovarians. <laughs> I know we made the joke before, but that was like so Dominic Toretto about family and all that other shit. Family. Mm -hmm. Except for the incest baby. Not family. Not, not, I mean, not, I mean yes, it's super family, but, but not like, in a good it's way. It's too much family. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dominic Toretto would like Draw cut the, the line. line. Yeah, I said cut the line. <laughs> Now look to your right. None of you are coming back. Not one. In the entire history of this program, not a single bug is returned. Oh, these are the bugs. <laughs> what do we do? Why do we do it? To spread the cure for AIDS. Oh my gosh. They were doing that? But why are they destroying things? 
funny, Polygamy. That's why we say it very loud. Guys, you'll still be oh the same God. civilized it's like on their side. It's not like interdimensional travel strips us of our clothes and makes us screaming monster. It does. <laughs> Oh, they don't know what Yeah, happened. they go in there, they get big, and then they destroy things, so they don't even know what they're doing. My clothes. Oh. Where'd they go? Oh, wait. No, they do. Because they started getting... Oh, they're oh, just they can't talking. Talk. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's a lemon so cool. juice? And then they get killed. <laughs> oh, Damn my it. gosh. So, I really wish they would have let the incest jokes die, however, they brought it back, but regardless of that, I really like the Power Rangers references in here. They reference a lot of, like, mob movies, too. I haven't actually seen Scarface, but I do know the whole part, what like, say Godfather, hello to my little right? friend. Isn't yeah, they did the Godfather thing, thing I, too. We haven't seen that either. I actually was really enjoying this episode until the incest baby! Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all know how we feel about the incest baby. We've yeah. talked about it in length in that. It's three episodes in, now in where in they joke one. about incest. I know! We're just like, okay, let it, like, really wasn't that funny, and, like, it was kind of weird everybody mm. thought it was weird and we were like okay let's just like move on we don't have to bring it back and then also like there's just so many plot holes with the incest baby and that upsets me like how does it breathe why is it so big <laughs> that's your big issue yeah like why does it breathe like how does it breathe why is it in space is anyone changing its diaper <laughs> like who feeds it it just doesn't make any sense why is there a baby in space it makes no sense does it have a gravitational pull <laughs> i don't know but uh another thing that happened in this episode in my opinion was i feel like rick was pretty emotional in this episode and I feel like it's you know Rick has been emotional before in Rick and Morty but I don't know why I still coming back to this like I know a lot of people have thrown out the theory and it's not just us but like that this this doesn't feel like Rick you know mm -hmm. this feels like a different Rick and I know they even referenced him like the the mob bosses saying that he was C-137 however I'm still kind of holding on hope that that's not the case. And, you know, we've seen Morty go through a lot of shit this season. Losing another love interest, killing a whole lot of civilizations. Uh, he almost, oh, he did kill the driver here, too. So, I don't know. Him, and also seeing him kind of get replaced for a little bit by Summer. Maybe they're building to it. You know, maybe they're building to this being evil Morty. And, like, mm -hmm. it's just, like, a different reality. And I think that would be a really cool way to pay off the season. I'm not sure if that's where they're going. Um, I still think that the last episode was a little bit better than this episode. I feel like if they got rid of the incest jokes, this probably would have been... Um, actually, I still would have liked the last episode a little bit more. I feel like this episode had a really good premise, like, especially with the voiceover things. But then uh, there were just parts of it I was, I was kind of just, like, waiting. I was like, okay, Okay, let's like you know yeah. I want a little bit more you know like I'm just waiting for a little bit more like okay let's give us something else yeah. or you know I also feel like Rick wouldn't have been duped by those uh like Power Rangers that took over right. <laughs> like the yeah, other parts of the so body easily. and also like I was like okay Rick should be able to take care of himself mm -hmm. right I mean you would assume I mean I guess there's sometimes where he needs help and also, yeah. obviously he was like heavily intoxicated in in this episode here which I feel like that is very on par with the Rick we know, um, yeah. as sad as it is to say. But, you know, that kind of makes sense in the terms that, like, Morty used to be the one who would go and help him. Like, there was that one episode, I think it was, like, the, the, the one who was, like, trying to be the Avengers. Whatever they were, like, Morty had to go help him that one time this time. And now it was Summer who was here taking over the role, so obviously she didn't, like, know. She just enabled him instead of doing, like, what Morty did, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's that's what they were going for, which was pretty interesting. But, I mean, like, Rick should be able to take care of himself, especially against, like, Anime Girl. Well, she didn't really look like anime, but, I mean, maybe mm -hmm. she's not from an anime we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> we did get to see Rick and the rest of the family kind of be really happy for a little. They had a happy like a moment, moment. Yeah. but Summer came in and kind of messed everything up in a sense I mean like Morty was kind of like questioning things I don't know um but it just it was interesting like they and Rick wanted to keep doing it and like doing it and it, it almost felt like he found like a like a, a, a sense of purpose yeah but I mean an addi addiction could be like anything can be an addiction in mm. a sense you know um and then that's when we started to see the turn like summer take over and Morty mm. kind of took the back burner um and I mean like I know some people were like leave the evil Morty thing alone and then some people were like this has to be it or else like what else would all yeah. have this been for and I want to hold on to the evil Morty thing. I just want to mm. hold on to it because it's like you see certain things and you're like, wow, that really feels like Morty's being screwed over by like the rest of the family or like there's just characteristics of him yeah. that's like feels like an evil Morty type deal. Um, and it would just be honestly really, really cool. And I know it's fan servicey and I really don't care because it yeah. would be so cool. Um, and I know it's probably not going to happen, but like that would just be so awesome if it did. I know. I love evil Morty. Like I feel like at a backstory season, like, and we didn't really know that it was until the very end right. to be a massive payoff. It would payoff. be so meta. <laughs> <laughs> That's for all of 
love you who told me not to say meta because I don't know what it means. <laughs> all right, well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions to Rick and Morty. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.